go for it now because the best time is now. It will not change tomorrow. If you want to go to study, you can do it uh, right now. Hello to all the listeners. You are listening to Taltech podcast and today we're here in Taltech recording studio talking about one of the study programs MBA entrepreneurial management and I have here with me two guests um, Martins Olstein and Ugis Schilde who are currently studying MBA. Welcome guys. Hi. Good morning. So, Martins and uh, Ugis, uh, could you please tell me where you guys from and uh, what do you do on a day-to-day basis? Yes, so hi everyone. Uh, my name is Martins. I'm based in uh, Riga, Latvia, and I'm currently working for uh, Samsung Electronic Baltics as a product manager for smartphone category. And on a daily basis, I'm working with all three Baltic countries, so Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. And as you mentioned, also right now studying at uh, Taltec. Um, my name is Ugis Zilde. I'm also from Riga, Latvia, and I'm the director of medical technologies for a private medical healthcare institution, uh, Medical Center Ars, and also a student of Taltec. Okay, awesome, awesome. So, uh, could you please tell me why did you guys decided to apply for an MBA program? Yeah, maybe I will start. Um, for me personally, when I like uh, finished my bachelor's degree, all the time I was thinking, okay, I need to go for masters. I need to go for masters, and it's already been uh, it had been like uh, quite some years, uh, more than five, and uh, finally, like uh, I decided that, that okay, this is the year when I will do that, and I didn't want to go for any master's degree, but I wanted something what would give additional value for my career, and uh, in business world, I think MBA is kind of uh, more higher in value than any other master's degree. So that's why I opted for an MBA program. Uh, for me, the journey was uh, slightly different uh, in terms that I have a heavy leaning in uh, theoretical uh, technical skills coming from medical engineering. And um, as of my current position, it requires more uh, skills and um, competencies in the field of management. So this was uh, my way to transfer from uh, my technical background to to a more management managerial level. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. So, but why did you choose uh, Taltec? Uh, why Estonia? Yeah, uh, I, I can start that uh, Estonia always fascinated me. So I was I always look at Estonia as um, something like more of a uh, our Scandinavian ne- neighbors. So even the atmosphere here is. Uh, is way different from back home. But uh, also we all know that Estonia is the leading example in Europe regarding the digital technologies and um, uh, everything digital. So so basically this program is a way to look at, at you guys. How are you doing it? Adopt the back price, best practices and uh, take them back home and apply. Uh, for me, very important aspect was convenience. So um, there are several MBA programs also at Latvia, but uh, why, why Taltec really stood out was that uh, uh, the way that the MBA program is built, that we have month on monthly basis these three-day sessions when we actually need to be present at uh, school. And uh, basically everything else, it's more like individual work or like some group work. And it means that you are more in control of your schedule. So that's why like, um, like both of us, we are working uh, full time. And therefore, like uh, being in control of the schedule, that's a real super important aspect, uh, how to how to manage uh, everything and uh, have this work life balance and also pursue the education. OK, so uh, you choose it because of, uh, you know, the mainly because of the study plan. Yeah? So no, no, not only like uh, that was really a key aspect, but also like um, I have some people who I know in Estonia from my past uh, work experience and like uh, also, Taltec uh, has quite a good reputation in terms of uh, the quality of education. So that was an important thing as well. And uh, maybe like a not as important, but also price. Like from price perspective, this Taltec MBA program also like uh, if in comparison, it looks um, uh, quite well. So mm. even considering that uh, like I'm living in Latvia and coming to Tallinn to study. So every month, like I also have expenses of transportation and accommodation. Mm-hmm. But even considering that, like uh, in, in comparison to other programs, like it, the pricing is quite competitive. Actually, hearing what Martin said, I can just only add, yes, uh, this um, uh, ab- ability to combine 
uh, the studies with uh, the work uh, life um, uh, full time uh, is just amazing. And this was also the reason why I looked at this program. Okay, that's good to hear that it doesn't interrupt your, you know, the day to day activities that you have. Exactly. Um, but uh, what would you say who for whom is the program aimed? Like uh, for who would you recommend it? Um, I would say like it's for kind of business professionals who either already are managers or who strive to be managers like uh, because like what this MBA program really gives is like this end-to-end -end understanding of how different structures of business work and how they like come together. So yeah, that would be my answer. What would you think? Um, <laughs> first of all, I completely agree with you and secondly, I think it's a great tool uh, for professionals such as myself with a um, lack of um, soft skills to develop them, um, especially leadership skills, management, managerial skills. Um, yes, that, that's my opinion. Okay. Uh, and since you started talking about like different skills, then uh, what skills or competences, competences have you developed the most during your studies here in Taltec? So I guess since uh, <laughs> I am the one always talking about these things, so uh, I would uh, say that leadership, communication and also ability to embrace the diversity that um, international uh, business environment entails so um, of course uh, especially this diversity comes with different set of challenges uh, but um, this program teaches you how to overcome and how to overcome them and uh, how to um, put them in action so you reap the most benefits and what about you, Martins? Yes, I absolutely agree with what Uji said, but uh, I think uh, for me, like also, like uh, it's very interesting that when you study bachelors, you have like zero practical experience and you are learning a lot of theory how to do things. But uh, now when you come to this MBA, it's quite the opposite. You have a lot of practical experience, you know how to do things, but now it's like really like these theory aspects, like they kind of help to take the things to the next level that uh, maybe some things I did previously inefficiently, inefficiently and now like I can be more effective using some well-known established uh, techniques and uh, principles in my daily work so that's I guess that's the main thing yeah for me okay, it sounds like you get a lot of uh, new skills from this uh, study program yes definitely it's it's very valuable sure. yeah but uh, what uh, topics and courses uh, have you enjoyed the most um, since you still talked about, you know, you have develop, developed your leadership skills, but uh, what like topics or courses have been your favorite ones? So I would say um, international business environment was something completely new to me. Um, technology entrepreneurship, uh, which uh, gives you an, uh, a basic, uh, not the basic, but but the tools necessary to to look into world of startups and um the one of my favorite ones is uh business intelligence and digital organization uh, by guest lecturer erki pogoretsky um because nowadays uh, data and data analytics are the trending terms in every industry and uh, this lecture just uh, shows you the way again um, what uh, practices, uh, what are the best practices, what are the obstacles to avoid through them and, uh, and get the value uh, instead of just uh, speaking smart but actually de delivering the business results. And what about you, Martins? Uh, for me, like, uh, it's tough to pick one because, as you said, like, we, we have learned and we are still learning so many new things. But uh, for me, like, uh, if to pinpoint one, that would be also technology entrepreneurship. Uh, because for me personally, like I have previously worked for a big corporations such as Samsung where I'm working right now. So this in technology entrepreneurship, what we had to do like over the uh, length of the course, which is half a year, we basically had to build uh, kind of our uh, startup from the scratch. And uh, for me, like uh, learning about these, uh, all these uh, startup uh, background and all the things uh, they do like and in the speed, in the pace, uh, what they do. Like it was really like kind of an eye opener, and there are definitely many things uh, which big corporations can kind of uh, learn also from this startup environment. So that was very very interesting for me. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what was your startup idea? 
Uh, our group, like uh, we were uh, focusing on technology called NFT. Uh, I yeah. guess you have heard about it a lot in recently in the news. Yes. And uh, our idea was how to uh, use this NFT technology to authenticate uh, the physical artworks, kind of bring this digital and physical aspect together. Okay. okay. And was it a success? Uh, like during the course? Uh, during the course, it was. Yeah, it was very challenging and very interesting but at the moment we still haven't uh, pursued it in real life but uh, i guess it's all like we were a group of four people so all of us are still like uh, kind of uh, gathering strength to take that next step and uh, go to a real pitching ground <laughs> i can only add here that uh, they made a great pitch at the end because uh, the, the final lecture of the course is that uh, we are given imaginary money to invest in these startups so we are the in a in a role of investors and uh, I put my money in their uh, company. Uh, so. <laughs> like Suji. <laughs> okay, it sounds like it sounds super practical, also with the investments and everything. It's awesome. And uh, I actually know that you have a personal mentor supporting your personal development during your studies. Uh, can you tell me a bit more about it? Yeah. No. Basically, uh, yes, we have uh, like a personal mentor assigned by university and. Uh, all of us, I think uh, now it's second semester, so all of us have already had uh, two or three sessions uh, with him. Like uh, it's uh, Christian Yasinski. And uh, yeah, it's kind of very eye opening. I like that in the very beginning, um, kind of we had to do like this disc test, which is kind of a personality test. So it's not like it, uh, you start as a kind of blank book. And it's uh, this really that uh, gave a nice background for the discussion. And I know that for uh, some people, it was really like kind of uh, even the life changing uh, kind of uh, thing, because like some people already like uh, one of our from our study group, like immediately after having this test and this session, like understood, OK, I don't like where I'm working right now, so I need to switch jobs. So this this uh, having this personal mentor, it's uh, it's really a valuable experience. Yeah. This methodology uh, was completely new to me. That's the theoretical part of, uh, of, of this personal development module. And um, since um, I like graphs, it showed me in numbers uh, <laughs> what person I am. So it, it, fit, it fit me uh, really well. But uh, apart the theoretical part, uh, the personal development part is also very crucial. And um, this is an experience um, that I hadn't experienced anywhere else. So basically, uh, Christian is helping you um, to tailor the, the path ahead of you um, that is based on your goals, your future aspirations. So um, you are the one that sets the tone. Uh, what is your development plan? Uh, what are the tools that you will use to to reach them so so in a way he helps as a coach also to develop your future career and that is beneficial as well oh. and uh ugi said that uh, he was um, kind of expecting the results of the personal test but what about you martins like uh, did you saw the results that you were expecting or was it kind of like an eye-opening uh, uh, to me personally, that that uh, disc methodolo methodology, like uh, I had had this test like some eight years ago, so I already knew kind of what to expect. So it was not totally new, but still like uh, it was great to see like over time, like eight years, like uh, oh, that's a long time. <laughs> so a lot has changed since then, and uh, yeah, it was really really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And the people say that uh, the people don't change, right? But uh, you can actually see that there are changes. There are, yeah, because you see like both like how you are like uh, in the work environment, how you are from your own perspective, and how you react in stress and these all your personality dimensions in different uh, environment uh, they change. So, so experiences shape us. Yes, exactly. Um, okay. But uh, have you faced any challenges as well during your studies? Like um, you said before that uh, the study program is really good. Like you have the kind of like a session study or, you know, the three day uh, study and uh, it fits really well in your uh, uh, timetables uh, to say it like that. But have you faced any challenges as well, like uh, during your studies or has it affected your like kind of personal life as well in some ways? Well, uh, which student hasn't experienced any challenges? Um, <laughs> it's still a lot of work. Uh, 
uh, there are a lot of assignments that you have to do um, throughout the, the month between the in-person sessions. However, I would say that uh, Taltec uses different tools that facilitates uh, this environment really well. So these, uh, these works are done remotely in groups. And it also, uh, since um, many um, group members are located in different countries um, and um, even um, time zones affect our work, so you have to be able to adapt to the situation uh, to, to be able to work remotely. And um, I think uh, the, the format that uh, Taltec is using is really good. Yes, no, it is. Cha it's not uh, easy. It is challenging to manage like everything. Uh, certainly less time for friends and uh, such things. But uh, but yeah, this flexibility, it kind of gives you space to operate in. So it's all manageable. It's great to hear that you manage it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly is a bold word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it might be. <laughs> uh, but uh, how do you find your study group and uh, overall study atmosphere? Uh, it's it's quite diverse. Like uh, I'm on my way to Tallinn, like yesterday, I was counting that actually we have like people from uh, six different countries. Um, although like the group is itself like it's like around twenty people, yeah. So six different countries, three different parts of the world. Uh, so you Europe, Asia, Africa. And uh, also, like, a lot of experience, like, uh, me personally, I have worked uh, briefly in Belgium, like, Udis has been to, start, like, uh, in internship in USA, like, some other guys, Japan, so a lot of uh, difference from different uh, countries, like, and different uh, uh, fields of expertise, so uh, I think that really uh, gives more value to the studies, and the group itself, like, uh, I think, like, uh, we, all of us, like, we have... Uh, we have come to study because we want to do that. It's not that somebody has pushed us or like society is saying, oh, you need MBA degree. Mm -hmm. So that's why like this kind of, uh, it's more like can-do attitude and everybody is kind of uh, focused towards the same goal. So I think that overall uh, the group uh, chemistry is quite good. What about you, Gis? Uh, so, so yes, um, people are diverse with different backgrounds uh, that just greatly benefits, especially with the, uh, environment that is used uh, throughout the class so we uh, um, even the, the um, environment uh, the, the way the classroom is organized is uh, is aimed for group works so uh, throughout the process we just uh, enjoy the, the the additional benefit from each team member or whoever what uh, however we mix b uh, between us um, it's just amazing so so people from turkey from nigeria from from india um you you wouldn't be able to 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 so easily meet uh, such um such bright and uh, motivated people yeah i guess like this uh, diversity uh, and all like gives uh, a lot of different points of view so it uh, uh, widens your spectrum as well uh, to see things differently yeah so like for example we just mentioned before this international business environment so it's totally different thing to like uh talk it from like i don't know estonian or latvian perspective or to really hear what like uh, a girl from india is saying or a girl from turkey like then you hear like uh some very very different perspective to what maybe you think uh of of that particular country or part of the world so that's that's really interesting yeah for me, it sounds like it's a big, big added bonus to have such an like an international group. Definitely. And uh, you know, of course, after studies, you will have uh, a lot of contacts throughout the world. So easy to go and uh, visit your friends, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, get the accommod accommodation cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you believe to be the main uh, gain from your study experiences? Apart from accommodation, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, definitely. Like what you said, these connections, that's uh, super valuable. And the world or even the Baltics or yeah, more, whatever, like this work, uh, whole business world, it's it's really small. So that's that's uh, that's that's a big added uh, value there. And uh, yeah, the diploma, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the diploma. <laughs> Uh, and if we go back to to more of like competencies and skills that uh, that we learned, then um, leadership, communication, um, um, the the understanding of the environment, um, this is something that also gives you confidence when you move forward. 
in terms that you, know, you will be able to tackle any problem that you face and uh, just do uh, things in innovative ways um, that are applied in different industries. So, so it's a uh, um, mind-opening experience. Awesome. Uh, but uh, do you have also like any recommendations for those who are considering starting an uh, MBA studies? Um, I know personally for me that uh, I was thinking about like uh, this this MBA like already for uh, several years. So I think my advice would be not to procrastinate and uh, kind of go for it now because the best time is now uh, when you can do things and so it will not change tomorrow. So so uh, if you want to go to study, you can do it uh, right now. So what gave you the final push to come and study? <laughs> since you were since you were considering for a couple of years, then what gave you the final push? Like, no, I'll do it. I guess that's more like this this heavy feeling what you have inside when you uh, you know that you want to do something, but you're always procrastinating. So you feel that you have something on your shoulders all the time, and I just wanted to lift that weight off and finally do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about you, Gis? Uh, um, do you have any recommendations? Well, Martin described it perfectly, uh, the same feelings uh, I experienced. But uh, also, um, mm, during these troubling times that we experienced previously, uh, that was another push for me, just to, to pursue it. And basically, yes, um, do it now, since um, time is short, the time flies by. And even now, when we look uh, back at it, um, it's just been like a couple of months. Yes. Uh, th that's the feeling, uh, time flies. So don't um, no, don't wait. Don't waste your opportunities. So that's a uh, that's some really good advice. And um, um, I have one uh, one more question for you guys. So um, I know that uh, it is possible to end the studies in uh, one and a half years. Uh, the MBA studies. Do you guys plan to do it uh, within a one and a half year as well? That's the goal. That's the goal. Yes. And for you, I haven't given up the hope. <laughs> But I'm working on it. Yeah, that's yeah. good to hear. That's good to hear, guys. Thank you, Martins and Ugis, for joining me today. It was a pleasure talking to you guys. And uh, I also want to thank all the listeners for joining in. You can uh, find more information about the MBA program at taltech.ee slash MBA. And uh, my name was Martin Palitz, and I hope you have an awesome day. Yes, thank you for having us. Have an awesome day. Thank you. Thank you.